Whoa! Oh! Oh yeah! Hey, today I got the Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones, and I'm gonna show you how to pair them to your iPhone, your Android phone, and uh, if you're nice, I might throw in a few tricks. I mean, if you're nice. The Powerbeats Pro can do it pretty much everything the Apple AirPods can do, but they're designed to be more rugged for things like working out. By the way, does anyone else think this looks like an engagement ring case? Will you Powerbeats Pro me? Okay, that sounds like a little weird, actually. But man, this charging box is so girthy, especially compared to the dental floss-like box of the AirPods. But listen to this. Oh, that sound. That sound, it's just so satisfying. Here, let me do it again. Oh yeah. So, a couple quick basics here. You can charge the earphones in the case via a lightning connector, because why use USB-C like everybody else? Why? Why? Another dongle. Inside the case are two pairs of small metal contacts, one for each power beat, power beat I? Is that singular? Is that, what's the singular power beats? Anyway, each power beat also has a pair of contacts on them that line up perfectly with those in the case. Yay, magnets! Changing lives since ancient times. What's nice is it's nearly impossible to put the power beats in the case wrong. Now, you better not cut away from me and show footage of me put them in the box wrong. No. A five minute charge gives you about an hour and a half of playback. So now with the power beats all charged up, let's pair them to an iPhone. This is actually one of the best parts of these headphones is pairing them to an iPhone. It is ridiculously easy. Watch. Unlock your iPhone and open the charging case. A pop-up window appears at the bottom of your phone. You're gonna tap the connect button. You hit done and you're connected. Now some of you guys, it might actually tell you to go to the case and push the button in that. Just follow the prompts and you'll be connected in no time. Let's listen to some Wu-Tang. Some Wu-Tang in the house here. Oh, these piston drivers and these headphones. Mwah. So, the reason they connect so... The reason they connect so fast is the H1 chip. The H stands for headphone, and the one stand for one? I don't know. Yeah, the same pairing process will also work for any iOS device running the latest version. Even better, if you have an iCloud account, and who does it, am I right? <laughs> it will automatically sync your Powerbeats Pros to all your other Apple devices, including your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your Apple Watch. That's all the devices, right? I think so. The name of this channel is How to Do It All, including Unpair. So watch. So to unpair them, first you're gonna open up the case, put the beats back into their beat holder. That sounds awkward. Uh, and then you're gonna push and hold the button until the light on the front keeps blinking. By the way, the button is on the inside lip of the case. Now that it's unpaired, let's say you wanna pair it to an Android phone. To pair it to an Android phone, Make sure the Bluetooth is on and open the case. And on your phone, select pair with new device. Now on Android, when you're on Bluetooth, you're gonna see all these other Bluetooth devices. And that's where that H1 chip on Apple is so, so good. But give it a few seconds or more and eventually you're gonna have it hooked up to your Android phone. And when you first put the Powerbeat Pros on your ears, take a moment to fit them. Included in the box are extra tips for the earbuds. Each pair, well, it has a different size, so you can really find a comfortable fit for your ears. So the uh, little hooks on top here are bendy, and you can pretty much twist them, well, any which way you want, so you can get a nice tight or loose fit, depending on your comfort. For controls, each Powerbeat Pro earphone has a volume rocker on top and a single button with the Beats logo on the side. Press the logo once to play or pause, double press it to skip to the next track, and triple press it to go to the previous track. If you long press the button, it will trigger Siri. Going back to the iPhone, if you want to change the name of your Powerbeats Pro headphones, go to Settings and Bluetooth and tap the letter I for information next to the current Powerbeats name. And then you go to the name field and, well, name it whatever you want and hit Done. Also, while you're in Settings, take a look at the automatic ear detection setting. 
Basically, when it's on, the Powerbeats Pro can automatically detect when you put them in or take them out of your ears. If you'd rather not have the audio start, stop, or pause on its own, you can disable it. While using the Powerbeats Pro, open the Settings app on your iPhone and select Bluetooth. Tap the letter I for information, and then under the Powerbeats Pro name, toggle Automatic Ear Detection Off. There's a couple different ways to check the battery life for your Powerbeats Pro. First, you can put them in the case and open them next to your iPhone. You can also add the battery widget on your phone. So starting at your home screen, swipe right and scroll all the way down to the bottom and press edit. So that's all I got. If you have any tips or tricks for the Powerbeat Pros, throw them in the comments. And if you like this video, give us a like or heck, subscribe to our how-to channel. Until then, play Party Anthem Rock. <laughs>